Now let's talk about leveraging. Leveraging. So once you get the money, why is a guy making a million dollars over here and you're doing the same thing and you're making $100,000? Because he knows how to leverage and his company is worth something. Your company is only making what they call revenue. So you're making a million dollars, let's say. And the guy over here is worth $5 million. It's not what you have or what you're making. It's a credit-based society. It's about how much your company, not you, not you, but your willy. Let's call the corporation willy because it's a person. They made this paper of a person. Can you believe this? So now, willy goes in. Willy has the option. He knows how to leverage. So let me show you from a banking standpoint, leveraging. Maybe somebody on here is a trucker, and I know somebody is a trucker because I know Ron is there. I know Ron's a trucker. You know, I know plenty of people on here that are successful, you know, coming on here to get more info and in because they know Derek's going to spill the beans. So let's talk about leveraging. Most people have one bank account per corporation. So if you got one bank account per corporation, you got $100,000 in that bank account. Imagine if you had five bank accounts. Who said you only have to have one bank account? Why wouldn't you have five? So one person got Bank of America. Guess what? Bank of America has $100,000 of your money because you got funded and you put that money in Bank of America, right? You're going to get that seed money. Seed money, foundation capital, springboard funding. That's how what we're doing. Seed money. To get that, you got to have some seed money. You can't make $100,000 and all of a sudden, after paying your bills at the end of the year, you're down, you're saving about 10 grand because you got bills and everything to pay. You need that lump sum of money, lump sum. That's what we're trying to show you. So now you go in, take that $100,000 in Chase, put that in there. You got five banks. You got $100,000 in one bank. You take that $100,000 and you open up different bank accounts with the same business name. You can open it as many as you want. And you take 20,000 out of that 100, you put it over here at Bank of America. You take another 10, put it over here in Chase. You take another 15, put it over here, and another one in the next one. So after three months, you go in and say, well, I want to borrow from Bank of America off this 100. They say, okay, we'll lend you 75% off of that, but you have to use it as like a debit card, not borrowing off of like your money. You got to use it as like a, a secured card. Well, that's the same thing. Your money is secured. But you got to say that. You got to tell, hey, I want to borrow off of my money. I don't want to use my money. So now it looks as though in these five banks, you don't have 100. You got one, two, three, four, five hundred. So you go in and get a bank statement loan off of this bank. Borrow at it. This one, borrow at it. Borrow at it. Borrow at it. And borrow. So now the same guy who doesn't know this, he thinks he's only borrowing off $100,000. I like to borrow off my hundred. And the other guy is saying, you're doing the same thing as I am. How'd you buy five times more property than me? Because I could tell you, but I have to kill you because the game is to be sold and not told. I'm not going to teach you this on the internet. You got a hundred thousand in there. They got, that's 1.2 million, 75% borrowing 1.2 million. Everybody say, well, Derek, how you going out there and buying all this land and buying all this property in New Jersey and buying it? I just bought a $3.2 million property. Nobody even knows I did it out in New Jersey. All right. So I'm not bragging. How am I doing this? I'm doing this because of other people's money.